Tool review time. Let's have a look at this little beauty. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now in this video we're going to do a tool review of Matt Esley's marking knife. Now for most of you guys subscribed to this channel you have seen me mention this on multiple occasions. You will have heard me say this is now one of my favourite tools which it is. It is now my go-to marking knife or knife for doing almost everything inside in my shop and like I say it's made by Matt Esley. Now I'm sure most of you guys who are subscribed to this channel will also be subscribed to Matt's channel or you'll know who he is. From you guys who don't, Matt is a woodworker Worker. I believe he did his degree in furniture making. He teaches at Royco Wood in the UK. He has his own YouTube channel. He has a free online woodworking school. And now he can add the title of toolmaker to his list of talents. So if you don't know who Matt is, I will leave a link to Matt's channel in the description. Definitely go check it out. So you'll find all the information about this knife and what Matt does. Um, he's far more qualified to talk about woodworking than I could ever hope to be. So if you enjoy what I'm doing here, you will really enjoy what Matt does on his channel. So in this video, we're going to jump in, take a look at this Matt knife. So let's do it. Let's start with a close-up of the knife itself. Now I went for the ebony with the brass ferrule and uh, I think it looks really elegant in that colour combination and it's beautifully finished. It's silky smooth. I love black. If there's always a black option I tend to go for it. Um, so that's why I went for the ebony. Now it was available in multiple different types of wood such as ebony, bog oak, pink ivory, snake wood. They're all on Matt's website there if you want to check it out. This one I, like I say, with the brass furl, there was also uh, aluminum furls or aluminium furls and copper furls. So depending on what colour choice and combination you wanted to go with, they were all available. Now it uses a heavy duty craft style blade. These particular ones are Stanley. Um, Matt recommends the Sam Martin SM01s, but these were available in my local hardware store. They're very similar to the Sam Martin ones, so I went with the Stanley. They fit just as well and are really nice to use. And the great thing about having a change changeable blade is that you can never have to sharpen it and you don't mind abusing it because they're relatively relatively inexpensive. You can see it has a lovely finger chile here which is nicely machined. If you're a lefty it's only a case to swap it over and just flip the braid around so right and left handed and the balance point is right at that finger chile. So whether Matt designed that, engineered that, or whether that's a happy accident, I don't know, but it's one of the reasons why this knife just feels so good in your hand. And you'll find yourself holding it the whole time, explaining, pointing at stuff. It just feels like a really nice pen um, to hold and to use. And these blades allow you to get highly accurate results. They're super fine and super thin. They're good and strong. And like I say, they're replaceable, so you don't mind abusing it. So that's a quick close-up of it there. You can see there's an Allen key to release the blade. So a little grub screw right there comes with the Allen key. So yeah. I think the best words I could use to describe this knife is simple, elegant and functional. It's not over engineered and like I say with that balance point being right on the finger child there, it is really well engineered and that's why it feels so good in hand. I'm a bit of a knife aficionado, I have quite a collection of knives and a really good knife with a really nice balance point is everything. So Matt did a great job, whether that was intentional or not, I'm sure it must have been intentional because it balances exactly where it needs to balance which is really nice. And the best way I could describe it is, you know when you pick up your a pen for the first time and you write with it and you go, ooh, that's a really nice pen. For some reason it feels really good in hand and then all of a sudden your handwriting is 10 times better. Well, it was like that when I picked up this knife. As soon as you pick it up and put it in the hand, it just has that really nice feeling. So he's really knocked it out of the park with that, I think, and got that balance point just right. Now I use this for far more than just marking. I use it everywhere in the shop. It usually stays in my pocket. Um, I use it for cutting tape, for opening boxes. I use it the whole time on my cutting mat for cutting out templates or anything that I really need to cut out. I use this even for cleaning clearing the glue off the top of my glue bottles and some other dirty little tasks because you don't remind, mind uh, damaging that blade because they are re replaceable. And whether you use the Stanley or the Swan Martin blades, um, like I say, they're cheap. You can buy them in packs of 50 for in around 20 euros, something like that, and they're replaceable. So it's a good option to go for. So let's just do a quick demonstration of this knife marking stuff out. So when it comes to marking out things like dovetails, it's ideal. You can just drop your knife right onto that point, slide your marker right up to it, and you can get right in close to that dovetail marker and just scribe your line. Then scribe down to your depth that you require. 
A couple of passes with these tin blades if you want a heavy knife line, otherwise just one pass and you get a nice light line. And you get right in close, it's not big, it's not bulky, so you can get right in beside your marker and like I say, you can drop right onto your mark, slide right up to it and be extremely accurate. So nice and simple to use. And when it comes to marking out your pins, it's great for getting in between the dovetails themselves. Now these dovetails are just pieces I was using. I was trying to do some uh, inlay type dovetails. So these are doing for a prop, just for demonstration purposes. But even if you wanted to go with really fine pins, this knife can get in there and give you an accurate line right beside your dovetail, which is really nice. Now another nice feature of these tin blade style knives is if you use a laser etched ruler, there's notches at all the points and you can be accurate to the half millimeter. So it's only a case of drop your knife into whatever point you want and you can stop your knife right there and you're right exactly on that half millimeter, which is really nice. So all these have little indentations and the blade is thin enough to fit into the half millimeter ones, which is really nice. So it allows you to be extremely accurate. You can just drop your knife onto whatever exact measurement you want and you are bang on to mark from there. So when it comes to squaring your line across, again, nice and simple, drop your knife right onto your mark, slide your square up to it, and just pull your line across. Now, this advantage using these tin blades is they will follow the grain. So if you lean heavy, you can end up coming out with the grain and then back in. So light passes first, and then get deeper and deeper. So if you wanna build something like a knife wall, couple of light passes just to establish your line and then you can deepen that right up. It has happened to me a couple of times where I lent too hard on a knife and it got into the grain and followed it out. So yeah, that's one disadvantage. Again, it's not really a problem with the knife. It's more of a technique thing. So when you're using finer blades, light cuts and then get heavier with them. So that's just a quick couple of demonstrations using it as an actual marking knife. You guys get the idea, you know exactly what marking knives are about. These fine blades allow you to be really, really accurate. The only thing you have to worry about is tracking the grain with them, but a couple of light passes and then do a heavier pass and that problem is more or less solved. Now, if you like your really fine pins on your dovetail, then a knife like this is exactly what you want because you can get in there and it's ambidextrous. It's left and right-handed, no problem, just a case of flipping the blade around feels really good in hand and like I say the balance point is spot on so if Matt engineered it to have that spot on balance point he did a great job because it feels just nice even just talking here now it's nice to hold between your fingers you can do this kind of thing and point at stuff and use it for whatever it's just nice to hold in your hand and like I say it is quite like your favorite pen so are there any gripes? We need to find something to gripe about in the tool review. Is there anything I don't like about it? Well, there's not really much that I don't like about it. If I could change one thing, if I had to be really nitpicking, if I could get rid of the grub screw, it comes with its own Allen key and inevitably I misplaced the Allen key. Now I have a drawer full of Allen keys, so it's not an issue. And I carry these ones with me all the time. So most of my tools in my shop require some sort of Allen key or Allen wrench adjustment. So they're always with me. But if I could get rid of that, it is a really fine fit for that blade, which is ideal. So if the outer ferrule, say the brass part could be threaded and you could use that to compress the in part, inside part where it catches the blade, then you could get rid of that grub screw altogether. You could use that outside part as a threaded mechanism, just a slight twist, loosen the blade, pull it out, put it in, and then twist to tighten, kind of like an exacto knife mechanism. That would be ideal, and it would really take this knife to the next level, because you could get rid of that Allen key and grub screw, and then the blade changes would require no tools. So that's the only improvement I could think of making to the knife itself. Other than that, like I say, it is fantastic. Now one other thing, because I use it for Almost every task now in my um, shop, the blade is permanently out, and that is true of all marking knives. So if you're going to put it in your pocket, you need to be careful. So one little thing I came up with, I just use a little plastic tube. It sits right in that like that. That sits in my pants pocket, so I can carry my knife with me. I don't have to worry. I can just drop it straight in there like that, and it's always there. It's like your favorite pen. Like I say, it's in your pocket, ready to mark, cut, do any tasks you want. So, there we go, the Matt Esley marking knife. So, there we go, that has been my review of this. Now, one of my favorite tools, the Matt Esley marking knife. Now, if you wanna get your hands on some of these, I'll leave a link below to Matt's website. 
They are currently sold out, but I believe Matt is doing a batch of these again. He said sometime August, September, and maybe another batch in November. So if you wanna get your hands on them, go to his website. I think all the information you need to get one of these will be there. You can select the wood type and furl type that you want, and you can kind of uh, put yourself on a mailing list so you'll be informed when it's available. So yeah, and you're also helping out a YouTuber. So Matt provides a lot of um, content online, so that's why I bought it. I wanted a marking knife and I wanted to help Matt out. So it's a win-win situation for me. I get a load of free woodworking classes from Matt. I get to give him a few pound and I also get a marking knife. So I highly recommend it, guys, if you're in the market for a marking knife and you want to support a fellow YouTuber, definitely check out Matt Esley's marking knife. It comes highly recommended from me. And uh, like I say, my videos are not sponsored. I'm not affiliated to anybody. I pay for this with my own money. It's just my opinion. And uh, I thought it would be a nice knife that you guys would really enjoy. I've been using it now for about the last six months and it has become one of my favorite tools. So I said I'd share it with you guys. So that's it, I'm gonna get out of here now. As always, comments and questions below, thumbs up, hit the bell if you wanna be notified when I upload a video. And if you're not subscribed to here, think about subscribing because there will be more woodworking and making content and all sorts of shenanigans coming up on this channel, including great tool reviews like this knife. So that's it guys, I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.